Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today I present the Balvini 12 years old triple cask, 40% ABV and matured in three different wood styles. Let's have a look at the tube. You can see in big letters triple cask, 12 years old. And this bottle is a liter bottle from the travel value. Uh, and it's quite expensive. It costs you know, more than twice uh, the amount of the typically 12-year-old double wood, which you find on nearly every shelf of the whiskey dealers. Uh, this triple cask is matured in three different distinct casks. One is a first fill Oroso sherry cask, the second is a first fill bourbon cask, and the third is a yeah, they say a traditional whiskey cask, which means it was used several times before for maturing whiskey. So the whiskey uh, coming out of these traditional casks is weaker, is less intense because the cask was used a uh, second, third time. Um, so the difference between this 12-year-old triple cask and the 12-year-old double wood is not only that they use three different cask types in comparison to two cask types, but uh, they mature the whiskey for the whole 12-year period in those three casks. And after the, this maturation time, they intermix it. And the double wood is refilled, is filled from the first cask, which it matured for, say, 10 years or 10 and a half years, and then is filled over into those sherry casks and is matured for another 6 to 18 months. Um, this tends to a weaker whiskey, to a more fruity whiskey, because the maturation period in these old sherry casks is less. And during this short period, only the fruity styles from uh, the wine, the sherry wine, is transferred into the whiskey. And the, the spiciness from the wood, from the European wood, the tannins uh, from the cask, they do not have the time to uh, go into the whiskey in only 6 to 80 months. Um, <clears throat> but if you mature for the full 12 years in those European wood casks, then you have a lot of spice in it. So what do they say? Oloroso sherry buds, the first type, impart deep, rich fruit and subtle spice. European oak casks that have held Oloroso sherry can go on to mature fine scotch whiskey. The toasted wood, it's uh, it's toasted with a uh, with a flame inside to have the uh, wooden structure uh, becoming hot, and uh, the cellulose is cut uh, to sugars, and those sugars are caramelized. Therefore, you have this toasting period. Uh, the toasted wooden staves that form the cask impart further flavor and aroma to the whiskey resting within. The cask number two, first fill bourbon barrels, add subtle vanilla oak and sweetness. Yeah, the bourbon barrels are from American white oak and they are a lot smoother. The spirit is placed in charred oak barrels previously used to age bourbon. Uh, so, the first fill bourbon barrels are filled the second time with Scotch whiskey or the raw whiskey from Scotland, and the first fill has been bourbon. During maturation, the whiskey gains color uh, from the caramelized sugar, wood sugar. This brings the color in the whiskey, and flavor from caramelized sugar found in the wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. again. A third traditional whiskey cask bringing consistent delicate layers of honey. Traditional uh, whiskey cask means they are filled a second, a third time with whiskey and the aromas transferred from the uh, staves 
and the ends of the whiskey cask uh, mature much lesser, smoother, less aromas. Traditional whiskey casks have already aged Scotch whiskey, been emptied and treated by the Balvenies on-site team of coopers before being refilled with new Balvenie spirit. Yes, they have uh, <clears throat> malting floors as well as their own cooperage. And here they say, they show this tun. And this tun is quite necessary. The Balvini on-site team of coopers continue to maintain the traditional Oak Marion tuns in which this single malt scotch whiskey was settled after wetting. So they mix these three or the whiskies from these three types of wood into those merry rich uh, tons and in those tons they rest for a certain period. There are uh, uh, special whiskies called ton 1400 something uh, which is the ton where the David Stewart, the master distiller, um, mod master he's called, uh, mixes his own special teas. So these tons are maintained by the coopers and you need the time so that the whiskey <clears throat> can perfectly mature. So between one month and say six months is the perfect period for the marrying period, marrying time. Well. <clears throat> oh. Quite aromatic, very intense on the nose much more that you would expect from a 40% ABV whiskey. There's the spiciness of the European wood in the back. A lot of fruit in the front. Dried fruit from apricot to plums and a sweet vanilla note together with a honey honeycomb quite sweet Very intense on the tongue, cribbling, and then a bitterness appears, like dark chocolate, cacao, together with orange juice. This is the typical taste uh, of the Balvini, this orange, this sweet orange. Yeah, the bitterness stays on the tongue, stays in, in the back of your mouth. This is the, yeah, <clears throat> the tannins from the European oak wood. A light <clears throat> smell of cinnamon together with vanilla. Yolk is still there, and the fruitiness. Mm. Wow, I like it very much, but if the price is two times or two and a half times more expensive than the typically 12-year-old double wood. If it's worth 
I don't know. Ah, you get a, a full liter. Not only uh, three quarters of a liter or 70 centiliters, you get more. So perhaps the price is only two times as high for a 12 year old. It's expensive for a two year old, but it's much more intense than the typically 12 year old. It reminds me uh, of the 17 year old double wood, which is one of my favorite. Yeah. Thank you for watching and stay tuned with whiskey.com.